The other day I went to Miyajima and I spent the whole day shooting there with a different setup, including my Ricoh GR3. I haven't been using it a lot recently because I got myself a Fuji X-E4 that I've been using a lot and I planned my day in order to uh, shoot with the Ricoh around noon, uh, which was perfect because I wanted to go in this area that I, I expected to be busy, which was the case and it was a perfect uh, playground for the 28mm focal length. So I've been shooting pictures and videos since 6.30 in the morning today and to be honest uh, it's been a while since I've not shoot a lot and throughout a long amount of time within one day so let's see if I still have some uh, creative juice with the GR3 It's been a while but the way I use my Rico hasn't changed. I shoot a lot with the snap distance priority mode. I won't go too much in detail but it's this mode where you select your focus distance, your desired depth of field and then the camera selects all the settings for you. In my opinion it makes it one of the most fun camera to shoot with so I strongly advise you to uh, watch my full dedicated video talking about my settings for daytime shooting with the Rico GR3. It's been five minutes and I start to remember why I like this camera so much. So my goal is to uh, go to somewhere where um, there is a little street which is partly covered. So it's uh, probably a good uh, playground to, to because there's first of all there's a lot of people and those, uh, those sort of things that cover the, the, um, the street makes up for cool shadows and highlights so yeah Just the same with this Ricoh GR3 that you can blend in the in the people in the masses. Just look like a pure tourist. People don't care.
note on post-processing, they recently added in Lightroom the camera matching profile so you can now use uh, the standard profile, the positive film and all that when you're editing. But the negative film, the one that was introduced uh, quite recently when they released the Ricoh GR3 Diary Edition, uh, is not yet available on Lightroom so I hope they will add it later but my editing process was quite simple. I applied one of my presets as a starting point and by the way all of them are set up with the Adobe color profile so they can be used with any camera but then I applied the standard profile the one matching with the Ricoh GR3 and finally I made some minor adjustments to put the colors contrast where I wanted them to be. Placing the deer and the boy at the two uh, cross of the rule of thirds. Pretty classic but always works I guess. During this photo session you can see me taking a lot of uh, snapshots of people walking around and from quite close distance but I don't want to be qualified as this uh, snap in your face photographer. I don't think there is any bad or any good to it, you are totally free to, to do it. But my advice would be to embrace the shooting condition you're in because if I wanted to have some minimal shots with only a few people at such busy times it would have been almost impossible it would have been a real struggle so i decided to fully go with the flow and yeah just take a lot of these uh, snapshots which uh, turned out to be quite interesting and it was a quite exciting experience actually
is just walking and trying to catch someone that walks into a little beam of light so you can see uh, him or her. Here you can see me pointing my camera up to the sky, locking exposure, recomposing and shooting. I like this way of doing because it's quite intuitive to point your camera where you want your exposure to be emitted at. Of course you can also use the exposure compensation dial to do so, but sometimes it can be a bit slow and hard to guess where you should put your, your exposure compensation. So this way of uh, pointing, locking exposure and shooting is quite intuitive and fast I think. that I'm very very happy with uh, how it turned out like just one hour focused on taking pictures with the repo and I was really lucky with the conditions the weather uh, the amount of people
That was intense. There is no such busy place in uh, Hiroshima in the city, so um, I just took uh, advantage of this situation and had uh, a lot of fun actually. But yeah, uh, we'll see once I get back home if any of these shots were decent, and hopefully, I'll show them to you. So I shot with the GR3 for an hour or so and it was a lot of fun and so good to see so many people in Miyajima. Now that there's almost no restrictions to come uh, in Japan, there is a lot of tourists and it's spring so with the cherry blossom like there's a whole lot of people and honestly it's really good to see that because yeah I've been privileged to be in the country for a while now but it was uh, kind of sad to see uh, the, the streets and see almost no tourists around. I really enjoyed my day shooting in Miyajima because all these little busy streets you have seen throughout the video, there are not a whole lot of them in Hiroshima city because of course with history and like rebuilding the city, they built it in a way to have more space so the roads tend to be larger. But yeah, Miyajima has been quite preserved. It's a really fun playground to shoot some pictures at. Okay, I'll leave you right there.